Hey guys, Blake here with Torque Boards, and today we're going to be assembling a dual Kegel mechanical kit which can be used to build your very own DIY electric skateboard. This build is a lot of fun and it will allow you to build the main mechanical components that allow your electric skateboard wheels to move forward, brake, and even ride in reverse. This mech kit isn't the entire build and is only specifically the dual mechanical kit portion of a full complete build. We'll have another tutorial for the full build. Included in this kit though are all of the mechanical components to make the dual motor electric skateboard. You'll get the following in this kit. One set of two 18 millimeter trucks, as you can see right here. We got two V7 motor mounts with their corresponding two two piece V7 motor mount clamps. We also got the corresponding bolts that go along with these to attach everything together. Right here we have ABEC or Kegel drive wheel pulleys with their corresponding retainer rings. In this case, we are using Kegel pulleys and retainers for this specific mech kit. Right here we have one set, which is four pieces of our 110 millimeter torque wheels um, or wheel set of your choice, depending on which mech kit you got, you may have um, ABEC wheels with you. But these are the wheels we're gonna be using for this specific build. And last but not least, we have one set of the longboard accessories kit right here. This consists of bearings, deck bolts, three millimeter shock pad risers, and bearing spacers. The tools and supplies required to assemble this kit are a three millimeter hex bit or three millimeter hex bit screwdriver. In this case, we're gonna be using this three millimeter T-tool right here. And we'll also be using other size T-tools because we're also going to need a four millimeter one and a five millimeter hex piece um, to assemble all these bolts. But yeah, that's basically all you're gonna need as far as tools go. And yeah, we can start assembling um, this mech kit. So first off, what we'll wanna do is assemble the drive wheel pulleys onto the wheels. And we've actually included a separate video for both ABEC and Kegel drive wheel pulley installations as it's its own little process. And in this video, they are already assembled like you can see right here actually. Here's the fully assembled wheel pulleys here already done, so you can see what it looks like. We'll be using 2X of the 4X wheels in our set for each drive wheel pulley in our dual kit. Next, we can assemble our two-piece clamps right here together with the motor mount bolt kits. So we're going to be using these 6x40 socket cap bolts. We're going to actually put washers on them to protect the clamps from getting damaged at all. So we're just going to slip it on like that. And you're gonna wanna line your clamp up just like this, this shape right here, and not this shape like that, that looks all wonky. So this is the proper way to set up the two-piece clamp, and we're just gonna drop our bolt with the washer in through the top right there. And down below on the other piece of the clamp here, we'll secure everything with these M6 lock nuts and softly tighten everything down very slowly so nothing gets damaged and we're gonna end up fully tightening everything later on once we have proper spacing and adjustments on everything. So we'll do this for the other side really quick. And there you go, you're gonna want it kind of loose like this so you have room to slip it on over the truck hanger. So we'll repeat this same process for the other clamp right here. To follow up, we're going to be attaching our V7 motor mounts to the clamps we just put together with the rest of these five by 30 button cap bolts here. Just like the clamp, these will get their own washers followed up with lock nuts to loosely secure everything. So the holes on our clamps here are going to line up with our holes on our V7 motor mounts here like this. So we're just gonna slip all the bolts through like that and secure these two pieces together. So here is a quick glimpse for you guys so you can see how this gets set up. Um, before fully tightening everything though, you'll want to test fit the motor mounts and confirm the angle by test fitting it onto the truck first. So we can slip this on like so. And these are reverse kingpin trucks, right? So these are going to face outwards from your deck like so. And you probably will want to make sure the motor mount angle fits with your deck that you're gonna be using and that your mounts don't get in the way of anything like your deck or whatnot. But um, yeah, once you've decided where you want the angle, just simply secure your bolts down. So we'll go ahead and do that here. To attach the wheel pulleys to the motor mounts on our truck, we'll have to use motors that are not included in the standard mech kit. So we can install these 6355 190 kV motors here using the rest of the bolts that we have from our bolt kits. 
These are just standard 4x8 millimeter socket cap bolts followed up by a 4 millimeter washer to protect everything and these will end up getting screwed into the motors through these holes right here as you can see. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to take each of your motors and you're going to want to align them through this little um, pocket for the wires right here and that kind of just firmly rest in place if you line everything up and then this motor shaft actually gets stuck through this middle hole in between these other four holes on our motor mount here and what you're going to want to do is line up four of these holes on the motor with the other four holes on the motor mount and this is going to be where you stick your four by eight millimeter socket cap bolts into and yeah so we're just going to tighten this motor down with those bolts and we'll repeat the same thing on this end and we'll show you what that looks like in a sec here is a quick look for you guys so you can see how your motor mount should look attached to the motor and yeah now that our motors are on we can go ahead and attach our motor pulleys right here onto the motor shafts which actually just slip on but first you will want to insert a motor keyway which we have included right here with each of our motor pulleys and these get inserted into the keyway slots of the motor shaft right here. And yeah, these just pop right in really easily. You can just place it in actually. Um, and then what you're gonna wanna do is slip the motor pulley on right over it. And you're gonna want to align the keyway with this extra um, allocated space for a keyway. So you're just gonna slip this on like so. And you're going to want to leave a tiny bit of gap in between the motor mount and the motor pulley just to um, avoid any friction. So yeah, once you got a decent gap right there, what you're going to want to do next is secure this motor pulley by tightening these socket cap bolts on here, like so. So we can go ahead and do this for the other motor right now. Now that we have our motor pulleys installed, the next thing we have to do is put our belts on. So what we're gonna do is put one belt on each side of our rear truck and one end of the belt is gonna wrap around the truck hanger right here on each side and the other one is going to loosely fit around the pulley for now. And we are actually going to fit these around our wheel pulleys here in a sec. Next up, we have to slide our wheels here with the wheel pulley installed onto them onto the hanger. And what you're gonna wanna do is once this is on your truck hanger, you're going to want to take your belt and stretch this over the wheel like so. And this isn't going to, at first, um, catch. So what you're gonna wanna do is spin the wheel until the teeth on the belt end up catching with the teeth on the wheel pulley. And then once that happens, um, you can feel the lock and then you can push this in to secure everything. And then once you have the wheel in as far as it goes, um, what you're gonna wanna do is secure your wheel in by placing a washer to protect your bearing, followed up by a lock nut. And yeah, this is just going to secure your wheel so it doesn't end up falling off once we're tightening everything. So we can go ahead and repeat the same process onto this side right here. All right, so now that we have both wheel pulleys installed onto our kit, you'll want to leave about a one to 1.5 millimeter gap between the motor mount here and the drive wheel pulley to avoid anything from clashing together. Once you have the proper spacing figured out, what you're gonna wanna do is take your biggest size hex tool right here for the biggest size bolts we're working with, the socket cap bolts, and you're gonna want to tighten these clamps all the way down to properly secure these motor mounts down onto your truck hangers. So now all this allows the motor to spin with the wheel. As the wheels turn, you want the belt to be straight and not pushing or pulling the pulley or drive wheel pulley to one particular side. You can have it slightly pull in towards the middle of the deck as we have guards on our drive wheel and motor pulleys. So these belts are still loose right now, as you can see, and to get the proper belt tension, what you're gonna wanna do is make sure that your motor is loose by loosening these motor bolts right here. And what you're gonna wanna do is, after it's loose, you're gonna wanna pull the motor as close to you as possible and while you're pulling it at the same time, what you're gonna wanna do is retighten your motor bolts to where you want the tension to stay. And after you have your bolts tightened, your um, 
belt is going to be nice and firm and you'll have the proper tension you will want. So yeah, we can go ahead and do that for both sides and I'll show you what that looks like. So here's everything properly tightened and spaced out as you can see. And here is how your dual mech kit should end up looking like after assembly. But yeah, that about wraps it up for this video. Hopefully you guys found it really useful. And feel free to like, comment, and subscribe for more content coming soon from us. And yeah, we'll see you next time. Thanks.